Praise the Lord. Prayerful greetings to everyone who listens God's promising and eternal word. Dear sisters and brothers, today let's reflect together about a body. What Bible, especially the New Testament, speaks about our bodies? It's good to know about our own bodies. Let's read 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. Read together and listen. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own. For you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. I like so much of this particular word. I repeat, there are three, four things. First, your body is the temple of God. What a beautiful notion that my body is a temple of God. I'm moving with the temple. Can you imagine? When you go to the temple, what do you normally do? You respect, you honor, and you worship. In the same way, when I move with my body, keep in mind, this is the temple I need to respect. I need to honor. And I need to worship my own body. That's important. And the second, that you are not your own. Oh, what's that? <laughs> when you hear first time, you are not your own. Where's your identity? But of God says, you are bought with a price. What is that? That is the precious blood on the Christ and the sacred body of Jesus on the cross. I'm bought. I'm brought with a price. I'm not my own. I belong to God. A beautiful understanding. My body belongs to God. And this is the temple of God. And the end. Therefore, glorify God in your body. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, whenever I get some time, I sit in front of the Blessed Sacrament, I reflect about my bodies, and I thank God for my body. I thank God for my body. Whatever the shape, whatever the positions, whatever the color, I'm happy. Because I'm a child of God, and I'm happy with my body. What about you? Look at the mirror, say, I love you. Yes, respect, respect your body, honor your body. Why? This is the temple of God. Friends, I'm not joking. A body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. If my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, I have a responsibility. What responsibility? I have a responsibility to safeguard. Safeguard the holiness of the temple. Yes or no? Normally, when you go to a church, you can see the parish priest or the sacristy, they keep all the windows shut, the door closed, especially the tabernacle key, they keep in the uh, special shelf and they lock it safe because they have to keep the church its decorum, they have to keep it safe, they have to keep it holy, they have to keep it pure because it's a holy place, presence of God. In the same way, Exactly in the same way, I say, bit more, bit more, more than the buildings, more than the buildings, a body is the temple of God. So, it's my duty, it's my responsibility to safeguard. How? It's my reflection, okay? I have got my hands, I have got my eyes, got my legs, and my senses. My external senses, they are the safeguarding soldiers of this temple. My hand, my eye, my leg, and my skin, their duty to safeguard the sanctity of my temple. Yes or no? Brothers and sisters, 
if we are not safeguarding our temple, we glorify evil in our bodies. So, I suggest to you, and I encourage you, I let you know the importance of our own body. Our body is not our own. It belongs to Christ because he bought with price. The price is his blood and his sacred body. So my duty and your duty, our duty to glorify Jesus on our bodies. Not allow my body for any kind of wrong things. I straight very frankly, brothers and sisters, taking alcohol. Those who are taking alcohol continuously, non-stop, every day, and not only damaging the health, even spoiling the sanctity of the temple of God. Those who are addicted to smoking, chain smoking, they are destroying their health. Yes or no? You know better. You know better. They are not only destroying the health of their body, they are also spoiling the purity of their body. And those who are addicted to pornography, those who are addicted to all kinds of sexual immoralities, I speak so frankly, I'm sorry, but I understood in my life. When you allow all the evil things in your body, you lose the grace, you lose the sanctity, and you lose the purity of your bodies. Because a body is the temple of God. If it is the temple of God, my duty to respect and honor the body, my duty to respect the temple, and it's my eye, it's my hand, and it's my leg, the duty to safeguard the sanctity of my body. And let's pray. Let's pray to God together. Lord, help me or help us to keep our body safe. Let us keep our body good, acceptable, holy, and good in front of the Lord, so that let us glorify God not evil in our body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Vincent de Paul, pray for us. God bless you. Enjoy your life in Christ.